My question is for all the candidates. Um, this might seem like an old issue to a lot of people, but it's still very important to me, and I don't think it'll ever go away. And that's the, uh, goes back to the reason why Canadian troops are in Afghanistan. And so my question is, do you personally, and does your party, or would your party, uh, support an international investigation, say a royal commission, into the events of September 11th? Just to make sure we're not there for the wrong reasons. Thank you. Absolutely, we've been asking for that ever since the darn thing happened. But we do not believe that what came out of that so-called commission report was even close. And I personally am in, I'm blown away by the fact that most people don't even know what Building 7 was. They don't even name it. know it came down just like a... Why? Simple question. Has anybody ever heard about that uh, high-rise building in, in Spain that burned for three years and it was almost identical in structure to the Twin Towers? Pardon me, not three years, three weeks. Three weeks it burned and it never fell. It was gutted, sure, but it didn't fall. There was something horribly wrong with that whole program of what happened on that day. We had 90 odd people that died there, Canadians. We don't know why they died. We do know that as a result of that, the uh, United Nations had their arms twisted and went into Afghanistan. My personal feeling is we should never have gone in the first place, but if we had, we should have been out within a year because we knew it wasn't right. right on. Again, you can, uh, this is multiple UN resolutions. There was two prime UN resolutions uh, that asked NATO forces to go into Afghanistan. This is a UN mission. There was multiple UN resolutions. There's 35 member NATO countries on the ground. So no, I don't think you should have an inquiry into the United Nations and into the resolutions that they passed. I think you should focus on the amazing work that has been done. And talk to the Canadian men and women that have served us so proudly over there. Talk to the ones that have come back and ask them if they're making a difference. Yes, there has to be an end to this mission. This will be the longest serving conflict the Canadian forces have ever served in. That's when our Prime Minister announced the full withdrawal by February 2011. But it has to be orderly and you have to give our allies time to respond. That is the responsible thing to do. Thank you. I think fundamentally Canadians have felt that, that we've lost our way. We used to be uh, given a, a tremendous sense of, of, of pride in that we were independent thinkers, we weren't following the American model, that we were capable of, of providing leadership on, on many, many issues. I think Canada has lost its way. And I think that what is being offered on October 14th is an opportunity for a government that is open to debate, open to discussion, and open to determining what is our way with future conflicts in the world. I mean, it, it, at some stage we do have to question the fact that we are now killing the very people that were armed a generation ago. And, and that does raise questions about strategy, not only at the UN table and in NATO, but just internally. So I think what that begs is that Canadians want to get re-engaged in the debate about our international role. And I think it can cover all of these, all everything that we've, you know, experienced in the last many since since time around. Do you have a question? Mike? I'll just very quickly say your question was about. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, yeah. It was a question about an international commission on 9/11. I'm afraid I, I, I can't really answer that because I'm not sure what it might achieve. I would be happy to talk to you afterwards about that. And as for Afghanistan, we went in. The liberals took us into Afghanistan. I believe it was because it was a sop to the Americans because we didn't go into Iraq. So we went to Afghanistan and it's been a mission that's lost its way right from the very beginning. Uh, we sh 
have to sort it out now. Now that we're there, we have to sort it out. Um, I see that the Conservatives have flip-flopped for a long time. They were saying, you can't set dates, you can't set dates. We've just got to stay to the missions finished. Well, now they may, perhaps they realise that this is a dead end for Canadians and we need to get out as soon as possible.